Hey, good morning to you, Mimi. Well, you know, we've all been staying home to help flatten the curve and give frontline medical workers a fighting chance against COVID-19. Now, these clinicians are working day and night, long hours and overtime and barely have a chance to eat. And sometimes their dinner ends up being a granola bar in the break room. And that's just not acceptable. So a nonprofit has grown out of this pandemic. It's called Frontline Foods. And their idea is simple but genius. Give medical workers healthy and safe meals while also supporting local restaurants and kitchens. Really, really inspiring to see the restaurants, you know, put uh, the hospitals first. A lot of them, a lot of the restaurants not even wanting to be paid. But we went in and said, no, we're going to pay you. We want you to be here when this is all over. That's Frank Barbieri. He is the original organizer of Frontline Foods. He says he was on a call with a friend, a nurse in San Francisco, and asked what he could do to help. Her response, send pizza. Well, that's how the idea was born. And since then, they've raised over $2 million and served over 70,000 meals. Now, here's how it works. All donations to Frontline go to local restaurants who are paid to provide healthy and safe meals to medical workers. It takes a lot of coordination and thanks to an army of over 500 volunteers in our 40 cities nationwide, including Seattle. Frontline Foods partnered with nonprofit World Central Kitchen, who knows a thing or two about feeding people in times of crisis. They actually also fed the passengers on the cruise ship that was docked in Oakland uh, with those COVID passengers uh, a few weeks ago and worked closely with the CDC on establishing food safety and infection vector guidelines for the delivery of food to infected populations. So these are the restaurants currently involved here in Seattle, and it's only four, so there is a huge opportunity to expand. If you'd like to get involved, there are two ways to do it. You can donate or volunteer at frontlinefoods.org slash Seattle. I'll also put a link up on my Facebook page. And I want to give respect to the local organizer here, Larry Morris. He's an executive at Microsoft. He's been the one to really spearhead the local efforts here. And I don't know about you, but this really inspires my appetite to get involved. I'm Amity Tracy, live in Seattle, King 5 News.